So last year, back in uh, November, Nike has uh, given us a new version for the Nike Offline with the 2.0. In, in today's video, we're gonna have a look at uh, a refreshed uh, version of that one with some new materials and of course a new color as well. ahead and also take them out of the box guys so uh, as uh, you might already know uh, this one will come in a bigger box than usual as it will contain some extra insoles inside so this one will be in this uh, brown color with the N354 written here at the top we're gonna have Nike written here at the back and we're also gonna have the sizing tank here so let's just go ahead and uh, take them out guys so as I've said, uh, we're also gonna have a second pair of uh, insoles in this uh, green color, which we're gonna have a look at in just a few minutes. So uh, in today's video, guys, uh, we're gonna have a look at this uh, new color combination and also materials for this Nike Offline Pack 2.0. made a review towards the end of 2021 uh, when uh, we uh, received the first uh, color combination which was uh, that uh, uh, green color we also had some different material for this upper which was exactly like a puffer jacket one this time Nike has uh, brought us uh, something new uh, they've changed slightly the material for the upper and of course the color combination but rather than that the shoe remained uh, almost the same and this one was uh, released uh, here in the UK in the second half of January for a retail price of 113 pounds so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see this one will have for most of the upper this felt like material which has a few colors in this texture and on top of it will have some extra felt material here at the bottom which will act as a mud guard of course here at the front uh, it will have also an extra rubber support uh, which I guess is there to uh, provide some extra protection for your toes and as you can see on this uh, material we're also gonna have this uh, Nike uh, swoosh here at the side and on top of this uh, all materials we're gonna have this uh, very strange uh, but in the same time a uh, very interesting uh, lacing system which will be a loop style lacing system and this one as you can see will also have some uh, reflective uh, hints on it which of course uh, will be a part also of these uh, laces so uh, these ones uh, will be slightly uh, more thicker than the previous one released so this one being in this uh, gray color it will match with uh, the rest of the shoe and as you can see this uh, tongue uh, it's not gonna be a normal one this one will actually be a very short one and it will be in this dark gray color and to be honest uh, this one doesn't have uh, too much padding here even the rest of the shoe doesn't have too much padding we'll get to that in a minute so this tongue will also have this uh, Nike tag here with uh, the lettering and the uh, swoosh in this uh, dark grey color. Now getting to the ankle section guys, you will see that we're gonna have an interesting uh, border stitched uh, to the shoe. And as we go inside, uh, you will see that we're gonna have a very thin uh, grey uh, lining which underneath uh, doesn't have too much padding. And here at the back uh, we'll have an extra uh, layer of this uh, very thin uh, padding but this one will be in this dark grey color. So for me as I have uh, skinny feet I really don't feel that uh, the amount of padding uh, is enough but I guess for people with wider feet that will be just fine. Also here at the back of the ankle section uh, we're gonna have this uh, pull tab which is actually a small one either way we're gonna have something to help us out uh, slide this on 
So this one will also have some reflective uh, hints on it. And uh, inside uh, we're gonna have this uh, pink uh, insole which has a different pattern to the green one which uh, we have it here. So uh, depending on which one you're gonna decide to wear uh, you're gonna feel a different sensation. Now uh, going uh, towards the midsole guys, uh, here at the heel section you can see that we're gonna have a different uh, material. So this one, uh, as you can see, it's actually very easily collapsible. So I guess uh, you, you can just uh, step on this one and uh, just uh, pull this one and uh, it's uh, very easy to put them on. So this one, uh, it's gonna be in this gray color. It also gonna have a very nice and strong stitching um, to separate it from the rest of the material which is here uh, towards the ankle section. And now guys, uh, we can go to this uh, uh, gray uh, rubber midsole, which as you can see, uh, it feels that it's gonna be a very thick uh, piece of uh, rubber, but it's actually not. Uh, this is just uh, to cover this uh, very thick uh, foam insole inside so uh, the actual rubber is gonna be actually very thin so as you can see all this one is actually very uh, flexible either way this uh, rubber outsole still uh, gives some weight to this uh, shoe and now guys uh, we can finish with the same rubber outsole which will be in this uh, cream color which will have the same pattern as the previous offline pack released as in for the actual sizing guys, uh, for this one I went with my uh, true to size and for me as I have uh, skinny feet, I really feel that this one it's uh, slightly a bit too wide for me, but I guess for people with normal feet uh, and uh, even uh, with wider feet that will be just fine. So overall guys, uh, this uh, new uh, version for the offline pack, uh, it's bringing some uh, different materials uh, to the one which I've already reviewed back in November. So they decided to change the puffer jacket material with this uh, new material. But rather than that, the rest of the shoe is gonna be completely the same. So uh, yeah guys, this was my uh, unboxing and reviewing of this new version for the Nike Offline Pack 2.0. I really hope uh, you've enjoyed this video and if you did, uh, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. You can also leave some comments in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.